Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's six o'clock um, in the evening, so of course we are launching a brand new one day special. And of course, it's another collection from the fabulous Paula. How are you doing? I'm really excited and very nervous, actually. Oh, that's understandable though, because this is something that's very precious to you. It is. So talk now, before we look at the dyes, how did this all come to be? I know it's your second collection with yes. us. Yes, so it's Bright Rosa. It's the, it's the brand that, you know, it's my collections. I designed them and um, basically what I want to bring is all this idea crazy ideas They're a little bit contemporary a little bit traditional a little bit for our journal and home decor okay. all mixed into one pack and this is the first Christmas collection that I have ever done and of course being born on Christmas Day yes. Christmas is a very special uh, thing for me Thank you. and I went I took the inspiration from snowflakes which is one of my favorite things and and here we are um, and I love this because you've got a set of three different dyes, as you can see here. 32 dyes in total. Um, two flexi dyes of £24.99 and 99 pence will get you all 32 dyes. And I love this because instantly I'm seeing concepts that we've seen previously with that kind of band. Yes, few exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But let's kick things off with the hexagon. Uh, all right. So, uh, what I do, well, it's good that you have mentioned the band because what I'm trying to do is to bring something that we have had in the past, oh, well, in the past, like a month ago. Yeah. Where there was the flower bands and things like that, but bring it into a hex uh, into into the snowflake, and then bring something different. Okay. So and where would you like to start with the dyes that we're looking uh, so at? So we do the hexagon card, like okay. yeah, as you were saying. So basically, this is the. Uh, the um, hexagon cards. Now, these are the dyes that you are getting. Now, what it is, is I love hexagons, and because of the snowflakes, traditional egg snowflakes are, um, are uh, uh, you know, usually when you're making a card, you're putting them on the horizontal. And I wanted to make them on the vertical. So this so is really clever, because it's almost like it's sitting on that, balancing on that corner. And there they are. The way that so, you've made it. So basically, balancing. just to show you, it die cuts, and then when you're standing them, Look at that. They are standing in leather like and they clever. are cutting out completely into there. So it is a little bit, so that was the starting point. And then I wanted to have something that was geometric that referenced a little bit the snowflake, but it was also all year round. Okay. Hence it's like kind of a wedding. Zone. So you have got some nesting dice in here, but they are hexagons that nest with the pattern in here. Okay. Then you have got also the stars that kind of kind of lawyer in here. And also I have given you the corners so you can cut into the car creating that perfect perfect hexagon into a rectangle. If you're wondering about the size, the size folded, it went, once it's like this, mm -hmm. it's five inches uh, across and five and seven, uh, uh, three quarters in height, okay. which is the, the proportions of a hexagon. You're getting a lot of dies in that set. 19 dies, I think, in that one particular yeah, set. Yeah, so you can see it in here that I have done a wedding invitation or a wedding card and then uh, so here you have cut it into the card with a pattern as a stencil and it has cut into the card and the top in there. I love that and that one die in its own right is cutting that base and then you decide how little or as much detail exactly. you want to add so in. So for instance in this one what I cut is out of it you can see how I can create it solid and it hasn't got any of the pattern in here and I just layer it together I so you could idea. have it like this or like that. So this is the first set of dies that you are getting in the one day special. Okay. Then the second, uh, the second one that you are getting is the uh, band you okay. have got in there. Now um, each of these dye sets is available individually but of course with the saving, with the flexi, but oh they're not, sorry, I thought they were. So the only way you can get hold of these is with your one day special, which let's face it is the way that you'd want them. Right, so here we have got the, the, the band, which is obviously allows you to create oh, look at that. the actual pop-up. It cuts into the car, creating that background in there. You can create it, completely cut it out. And here you can see in the center, you can create wraps around presents. You can create it into, you know, into your cards, so many more. Then you have got the layering ones, which I have used them a lot, all the time for different colors. And then we have got the border. The border is a little one. It's not massive because I wanted a border that created went so That's the previous pretty. borders were seven inches in height this one is five the reason being is that I wanted to be able to create a reef in here That's that perfect. fits in there but if you wanted larger cards like this one you use three uh, in this one I use three of them so seven by seven will fit you can use it in the different ways for instance if I have show you the cards in here sorry I'm just making a mess in here <laughs> okay. but you can see it here how this is the dice they cut so you have got the individuals you have got the centers so you can layer them together nice 
and then see how wow. you can see that three of them together two of them like that That's and there is see. other options you could do like a zigzag as well so you have got like traditional uh, snowflakes that will work with for instance the band so it's the same sort of a snowflake but it's slightly different it slightly kind of works together but it's not quite identical and you can use for instance see how this one will match with this is that one and it kind of is almost like more of a flower a christmas yes, flower yeah. in here so i used the smaller one from the previous one in here and you can mix it and match and can i show you this one by nikki by the way i have to oh, thank look. nikki um nikki lisa and tanya who have and then here we have got look at that gorgeous car by nikki gilbert who is a dear friend and a very very talented crafter how she has layered all those dyes in here Amazing. in the middle and i've got to bring one of these in as well because the beauty that you'll see um we'll show you those finished samples on the counter in a few mm. moments we've got some very traditional style but then yeah. some very contemporary well, because this is i wanted to do something that it was not necessarily just for Christmas. Yes, there are snowflakes, but in my using those colors are not completely Christmassy. And the reason being is I love art journaling and I love that getting a little bit messy. So I, I literally, this started, if you put it like this, can you see it? Yeah. It's two pieces of A4 watercolor card, white, started up. I die it, you know, out of twice yeah. with the hexagon and the card. One, yeah. And then I rotated one, score it on the back in here. Clever. and created that now I cut into the car creating that kind of you know kind of that window that yes, filigree yeah. imagery and then that one I use it um, that's the same one but rotating the small the snowflakes in here using the the die as a stencil just using all those elements in here and then the other side I think it looks like that so it's yes, kind of that. Isn't that beautiful? And those exact same dyes creating that decoration just like this. I mean, imagine this sitting on your Christmas table, but having things like your menu or your place settings, using that smaller piece with their really pretty designs. Oh, Lisa made that. Lisa Robson, so thank you. Fabulous. It's just, isn't it like, you know, look, look at that. Look at the oh, napkin, wow, right? So, that. see, I love how, you know, Lisa does a little bit more traditional, still yes. very stylish, but this is what I want from my collections is to, you know, have this timeless, a design that yes. kind of go really contemporary really clean and simple Tanya has done some beautiful samples as well or really yeah. messy like Nikki or then just go vintage I made this easel card and you can see beautiful. this is a card goes like this in the envelope so it would fit on a on a six by six envelope perfectly then this is the dies that are some papers that I had a die cut mm -hmm. with using and look at that there Isn't is that fabulous love it now you are getting all 32 of those dies for that fabulous saving because of course it's a one day special launch at six o'clock this evening and it is flying out lots of you taking advantage of those two flexi binds as well 24 pounds and 99 pence meaning that if you're a freedom member this will all be sent to you and delivered to your door for that initial payment of 24 pounds and 99 pence zero seven zero um one two zero is the all important item number and of course by taking advantage of your one day special means that you've then opened up your flexi order so, of course, the collection does not, doesn't end with those three die sets. You may well have noticed some of those sentiments featuring on some of those projects we've just looked at. Well, we've got more to share with you, so check these out, because I'm pretty confident you'll want to add these into your basket as well. Now, the hexagon we've just looked yes. at, beautiful, but if you mm -hmm. wanted a larger card, you've got that elongated version. Uh, yes. So, basically, I started with a hexagon, and then I went to, I love elongated hexagons, as you can see from my packaging. Uh, so, I kind of want, I really, really want, so I want, I love five by seven cards. I think a lot of you like. So I went. So well, I want a five by seven uh, base card that then you can cut it into a hexagon that kind of has got that pointy bit. So this is the creation. So it has got that uh, has got more dice in this one. You have got uh, the nesting dice. So that one will cut it out. And so let me show you a vintage card okay. because this is what I've done. Is just cut like this Perfect. the card like out of the card this is what you get then you can use the nesting ones to create those mat and layers as well as this and this makes a complete traditional and by the way the snowflake obviously is from the one day special and then it will stand i mean i kind of my so hand is not the most not steady but you can see how our stands perfect and again you could do that on a landscape profile if you wanted to as well indeed for instance nikki has got this one which i think is absolutely divine look at that 
That's pretty. So it's another easel that will stand like this. You can make it into like that, like this if you wanted to. There is so many ways of making it as a plate. And of course, it comes with a, well, if I may say so. I mean, it feels wrong to say it. <laughs> but uh, say but it that anyway. panel that cuts <laughs> into the car that really all year round. So I made this wedding uh, invitation uh, over the weekend because I wanted to show you how you can create those really, really delicate. Now, if you're wondering, um, you know this I do use uh, 250 GSM car to create it if you really like thicker more 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 you can go a little bit thicker okay. but I would recommend then do what I done here which is to create the solid and then just put the trellis idea or the pattern into layer yeah. it up and that now for instance that's 250 plus 250 that acts actually quite heavy now you've got and two die sets within this one. The die set that we've just been chatting about with all 20 of those elements, but then you've got your north light panels. And this is made up of two die yes. sets. You kind of got your in and your out with this one, Paula. Yes, so basically this one will cut a perfect mat, a five by seven, and then it will cut all that pattern into it. So if we see them layered together, can you see it that is a slightly wider the blue is the panel and this is the car so you oh, see, see. A so it's hint. not offset no it's, the it's way a it's little meant to be. bit of the the color it's a little bit thicker now this is what's Literally, I spent over an hour deciding what the thickness should be because if I went a little bit thicker, then the pattern in itself wasn't as nice. Okay. So I settled on this because then you can create oh, bits like this. You can use the base one like as a as a stencil, and then that gives you a broader one, and that then you clever. overlay it or with the gold one that has been cut. The snowflakes are from the one day special. I've got to hold this bunting up. This, this is Tanya amazing. has made it. Look I just this. got it just before the show. Look at that gorgeous. Isn't that, this is what I mean. It's pattern. It's a, it, this one actually, funnily enough, is a traditional Japanese pattern. Oh, but I, I just love the north light, the vibrancy, the, the colors. You, you can use it overlaid. If I put it like that, you can see yeah, it better. That's really pretty. Yeah, like that. But gorgeous. if I turn it over, you can see that how I have done here is the base, that one is the panel and then the overlay you can see it there thinner is from the hexagon elongated so mm -hmm. rotate it 180 degree and there you have it and then oh. you have got oh look at that look at the oh my goodness so this take the box is from you. okay so then here I created an art journal, creating that long he hexagon. This is from the one day special then creating all those bits and pieces and that then is fabulous you have got also the north light panel in there That's cut clever. around it and created a pop-up yeah, so there that. is so much you can do with it and this. i love this one because you've captured all those fall away pieces in the, so i just went with a uh, double-sided sheet and i just got um, because i had different uh, this is because me being me, being lazy and not cleaning the stencils between time, I did those. I had pieces from different papers, so therefore I have got this two tone effect. Like also, that. I wanted to show you this oh one that yes. I made uh, last night at 11 o'clock at night, wow. seriously. And it's just showing how you can use the uh, actual the nesting from the elongated. Now, this is proper, so you can see then it goes like this. Very clever. So Very that yeah, is like, and then the snowflakes and the word the snowflakes are from the one day special and the word is later. We we'll see it the next one. We will indeed. Now if you want to take advantage of your elongated hexagon, ten percent of the stock has gone already. It's coming teamed up with that North Light panel and of course it works beautifully alongside your one day special. Price on your screen there, twenty five ninety eight. You can actually spread that over two payments if you're adding it in alongside your one day special. So for the time being, that item number is four seven one zero eight one. But of course we teased you with the those words so it's only right that we show you those before we head down to the demo area and these are beautiful because they come with a geometric snowflake and this is kind of where the story started yes the actually yes because um, last year I, uh, I published uh, uh, you know one uh, my fifth book and it was the snowflakes and I always have had this passion for the snowflakes but this one was um, based on a, one of the projects that I had in the book and inspired design because I wanted to be able to replicate it quickly it's a different in design it's, it's like uh, so this one the base card as well by the way it's I think it's five and a half the zigzag so it cuts into the card you can 
I, uh, my numbers are completely okay. but Don't you can worry. see what you are getting in here the individual dice so you can then cut it into the card or out of the card is your choice you have got the little ones that will match the center and then you have got the double stage detail in here a uh, straight line and then you have got the zigzag in I out love so. that. it makes a nice alternative to a standard mat and layer that zigzag, it does it? so and I also like to create the blank cards out of it because it just cr gives a little bit of more of an energy uh, you know no pun intended <laughs> Uh, you can use this is the one day special a snowflake but you, what she has done is use the, the the words in here and using the matting and layering now can I show you the words because we haven't even mentioned the words These that you're are getting amazing and I love these style of words we saw them with the last collection yes, it, it I'm is. so glad you done some Christmas so ones so these ones are the same principle however they are a little bit smaller for those ones we have got so the original ones were six inches across these ones are five inches and the reason is because obviously we have got the snowflake like uh, geometric and the panels and everything that is five by seven therefore it had to fit in so the, it's the same way but it's smaller okay. you know it's, it's thinner like yeah. you, you know I like that and again use it top and tail your cards with those um, it's just a really nice way of adding yep. a contemporary sentiment. You can, then you have it like that, like Lisa has done there, like um, Nikki has done in here. So she has trimmed the top and the bottom off. There was another card. Let me grab it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That meantime. was very naughty. I'll uh, just grab okay. this. Look at that as well. But that, exactly, so this is that cutting is into the layering. Uh, I use this dress exercise in the bottom, just something simple in the background. And that's to just zigzag again featuring yeah, there as well. Generally there, just, just a hint. And this is the sentiments oh, as well, nice. how you can cut them. And one of the reasons as well as fitting the cars that I want them a little bit smaller is because I rem always remember one of m a friend of mine or family member that she used to say Christmas cars she preferred to have receive a smaller cards and I always think it's good to have sentiments that will fit into smaller cards. Well you get so many cards exactly. at Christmas you That's can't the display reason. them all if they're big cards can you say But yeah. because of these words they will say as you know they can be the central whether it's a smaller cards a bigger cards is points. you know they will still uh, be there and then look, look at that card oh now if you want to take advantage of these 528 or 156 again 24.99 very affordable and again you can spread that cost if you're adding them in alongside your one day special 528 or 159 if you're wanting to take advantage of them please do so a couple more bits to share with you before we head into the demo we just want to show you everything that is brand new that Paola has created because when you see the stencils you will want these as well and these are lovely I love the design you'll recognize with these similarities yeah. from the one day special in the collection we've just seen uh this uh really is the first time ever that i've done a stem cells and i'm really really excited now here you have got the uh, snowflake panel which is a seven by five die and it has got that the same principle as the north light and the halogenated that is a slightly wider but it's the same pattern so you have got it too so you can create the perfect matting and layer for your uh five by seven also the background um you can see how it will cut all that intricate detail and if you see in the background there you can Within see the those frame, gorgeous got little lantern and that uh, so that has been cut with uh, because it cuts into the car so you can do home decors that are if you want to make it Christmas you can make it Christmas if you want to make it all, all year round you can and this is what I love to make you know they create the um, a, a kind of card the zigzag That's card nice. in there yeah do you like that idea? Of course, you're getting the stencil as well alongside this, which oh, yes, the stencil. Sorry, new. sorry, I, I just completely forgot about the stencils. <laughs> yeah. So you get into you are getting the words because words are very important to me, and I always think it's kind of nice. So this one is kind of making a, a contemporary card. So it, this is just using the Christmas words. So I mask it. So you have got different colors here. Um, Nikki has used them as well for the background, but then you have got also the. Um, the shine bright and if I put it here you can see some of my art journal and you can see bits in there yes and it's nice because you've got lots of different elements within there you so can different yeah exactly ways you so can you can it. you can go very grungy but also let me grab another sample sorry okay. uh, you know the director's well. gonna have Nikki has done this one and this one one of the reasons uh, of um, you can see that 
I made it so it was for more like glitter paste, glimmer paste and things like that. So you can see that those points so you can put your gems, your drops, your things and you can have it as a background that adds like that sparkle that yeah, you know the nice. Christmas ornaments. Yes. That's pretty much it what Love I was thinking. And the course that design that you just shown us there all year round you yeah, could be using. All that. year round, yeah. Um, some beautiful finished samples and you can see how they do team up so well alongside the different elements. Of course the sentiment there from the previous set and I think the little snowflake there for yep. the one day special. So, yeah, whichever way you get hold of your elements, I would suggest going for all of them because if you go for all of them, the one-day special and all those additional elements from the collection, it maximises your usage. And that's when you can use it in so many different ways, as the design team have be, um, been doing. Check this out. Beautiful. wonderful examples of how you can work not only with your one day special but all those additional elements as well and I do need to let you know that already 10% of the stock has gone for a one day special we're not even 20 minutes into the hour we knew we were going to be busy but we just did not gauge how busy we would be so lots of you taking advantage so on behalf of Carla well she can say thanks thank, thank you, you. So thank, you. thank you for getting involved with this deal right so what I have got here is I have got here the one day special the hexagon card and I just cut it out of these beautiful teal card um, and you can see that you it has a score as well in the middle so then you just gently kind of fold it that. and Perfect. then you have got the base card now as I said I have used watercolor card I have used which is 300 GSM I'll have gone a little bit heavier I have gone a little bit lighter I tend to li mix it up uh, the thing with the constructions of cards is that always if you put something very heavy in the front it's a myth that you have to have 300 GSM card as a card it's it has to be balanced. Whatever you put in the front, it has to be balanced in the inside. Because you get that topple forward, exactly. I'm guessing. So if it's 300 GSM and you put 300 layers of paper in the yeah. front and nothing in the side, it still is going to flop. You know, so you don't, don't, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to put my, um, my, the, my, the beautiful, uh, you know, that's I don't know beautiful. how I call it, I just call it geometric pattern, it's a snowflake because it does have kind of, it also some people say that it kind of has a, a rien, you know, it has got this candy theme. Yeah. Uh, it also reminds me of the, you know, the Alhambra in Spain, southern yeah, Spain, yeah. or the um, Cordoba uh, or Sevilla. Uh, so I actually, my hometown of Zaragoza has got also uh, um, Zaragoza. Uh, Zaragoza, which probably you might know it as Zaragoza, if you know it. Uh, I prefer the way you said it. Uh, so, and then we have got the, and then, um, so it has got a Moorish castle, so they kind of, oh, uh, it's kind right, of yes. but it's Moorish for Christians, it's a funny thing, it was Christians that built it, anyway. So. <laughs> It's all <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, I do go in a tangent. So gently tease it off and you can see it has Look cut it that. all ah, of it. Wow. Now, of course, you know, it depends with certain die cutting machines. You need a little, a couple of times. So once, yeah. you know, some of them have got more pressure than others. Wow. But you can see Look how... At that. Look at that. That that all that pattern in there. So it has got a kind of that also cathedral window, yes. somebody said. Yeah. So there is a kind of. Now, what you can do, so this one is one of the hexagons, the largest of the hexagons that Matt and layer in here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is going to clean this up and dirty the, um, the, the, the floor by doing that, <laughs> <laughs> all the bits. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the corners in here. Now, what okay. I have given you, I have given you the all four corners, so you can do them in one pass. Now, what I do is close it up like that, so you can follow the pattern more or less like this, and more or less, can you see the line there? Mm -hmm. There, that way, that po the point in here, that way, and then the line that way. Okay. 
so it's kind so of like that inner yeah, section inner yep. section so then i'm just going to place it in there uh, that that low tack tape is not very it's very low tack and then I'm going to take the next one. And it's nice that you've actually given us those four corners so we can cut these out and, and kind of lay them out perfectly without having to cut one and then going back in with the same die cut That's second, one third thing or fourth. that I was, because remember, I, I, I love making Christmas cards. I have to say my poor friends haven't received one for a long time because I have had a little bit of a busy time but uh busy years um that but i have uh, chris making christmas card has been uh, uh always one of my favorite things to do if i have got the time obviously and i think it's one of the, the times that so many people make so many of them and it people is. make hundreds of christmas this is cards. what i mean you have to make them and then you can actually also well that's a good point uh, that we have got in my ear that is a make and sell of course you can you can make and sell uh, and this is why when i designed it and this is a long way around to explain that i wanted to make sure that it was you could do them all four in one pass. Sometimes okay. other people would have given you all four different options, so you had to put them four or five times. Yes. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure that in one pass Look you had... That. that is beautiful. That in one pass. Well, so and that is quick. So it's a quick, intricate, beautiful, hopefully you think that is so beautiful, um, design that you can then layer together. So now what I'm going to do, also included in the care in the in this bundle, is those dice okay. in here. So that one will match that one. Perfect. So if you wanted a, this one, the other one so will oh match I those see, ones. Yeah. So if you wanted to do that, that's another way to do it more cri Christmassy maybe, um, to you know highlight the star bits, but. And I'm thinking about if you were to cut that out of a self-adhesive self cardstock, yes. then you could actually sprinkle glitter in those little apertures. You can, or gilding flakes. Yes. That's it. I, I have brought gilding flakes in case I can do a demo with that. But yeah, um, I lose a glitter. There's a whole load of concepts that you'd be able to yeah. do that. Okay. There are lots of them. Now, if you wanted to, you can put vellum in here, acetate, if that's what you wanted. Personally, I think this is very delicate but very beautiful and sometimes you want to have a little bit of more um you know robust uh, like a, a, you know kind of heavy handed you can build them like that you can build more layers you can cut it into the card uh, you can use, um, like as we're saying, if you are worried about the, you want something that feels, then cut it out of the card and layer it as a, as another layer. There is there's plenty of options in there included that will allow you to to, to just play and, and suit your personal style. Because this is what I mean. You can cut it completely out by sure. using the outer die in here, so that will cut it out, mm -hmm. and then you can layer into it. I love but that idea. Like as I said, I have been making card Christmas cards for uh, not quite 40 years. That's, you know, I mean, uh, but um, I think 20, 20, 20, <laughs> so I was 16, so about 24 years ago. So uh, nobody has ever complained about the thickness of my cards. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I have used uh, uh, 216 GSM very often. So this is the snowflake, the largest of the snowflakes from the um, the band, the one day special. And if you want to see that the size is exactly about, you know, just about four uh, inches and a half just above it. Mm -hmm. So that gives you, it's a nice uh, size for a snowflake. Nice. I'm just looking at that design. You could snip into that and almost, well, it almost looks like leaves and use them in exactly different ways. That's yeah, the center the is very much like a flower. So when I was designing them, uh, it was funny because I had a designer's block with, uh, with the snowflake uh, band because I wanted something so th I designed this first and I had this very geometric pattern but I wanted something softer and it took me a little bit to come up with these ones that have got that softness that have got the little hearts the little yeah. dots in there so now I have die cut this one using the that one that will cut completely out of the card with all those details in there and what you do if you want to layer them instead of making the you know having to have more metal and therefore the price would be a little bit what you do is you just trim those bits off and then you have got a perfect matting and layering with the intricate and the Clever. solid 
in there. And then, of course, this could be used for uh, different things, like like you say, like yeah, flowers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lisa, who made, who is part of, you know, has made some samples, and thank you so much, Lisa. She's made a poinsettia using the snowflake um, band, and it's absolutely beautiful. No, no, she, she, she oh, she oh, didn't have time to send them in. Oh. She made them over the weekend, but she, <laughs> yeah. So it's sent us a picture, and so we'll show you that one in just a few moments. So then you can see here that you can you can make it whichever way you want, like this. Or like I'm thinking going like that. Okay. Okay. Lovely. And just then just kind of pops that in. Shall we show you that point set here? Because this is a totally different look. Yeah. Look at this. And that's from the snowflake band. Thank you, Lisa. This yeah, so she has used the snowflake band, the outer one, and like the band itself. And then you can see the center is the snowflake is uh is one of the ones in the center from here. That one. Very, very clever. I like that. Almost like a little sheriff star, that yeah, one. Yeah, it, it is. So basically, she has used those points to create the poinsettia, and then you can see that it's called cuts it in it here. Away. So it's never, and then she has used this as a. Isn't very that, that clever. clever? She's like a very that. clever. She's done some other photos, then we'll share those with you a little bit right. later on. So, what I've done here as well, when I design things, is just put little dots in here. So then you can go in. And then can you see there, there is like for crystals, pearls, drops, you know, liquid pearls, whichever th thing you like to use. But just those little dots are important to me because I just think it's always at a placement where to put your, your sparkle. If you have got any, like I'm trying to, <laughs> but it's not <laughs> playable. Maybe a bit tricky. Um, yeah, Lucy, the, the, there it is. There we go, beautiful. And then, and then what I'm going to do is you. Oh, look, see, I could. And now it's, this is where it gets. Oh, like I'm going to add put, more and more. <laughs> oh, can I just stay here and put pearls all over my <laughs> snowflake? Because that's quite, you know, it's quite therapeutic actually is, for me. Yeah. It's just like mindfulness of just putting my. It's lovely. You've got those perfect placement but spots. Yeah. So yeah, if it's something like a three-dimensional PDA, you could and do And then that. I have got the sentiment in oh. there which I printed off with my computer, I must say, because sometimes you want to have a little, you know, printed, but mm -hmm. I just didn't want to, you could use my my own sentiments for dies, but I wanted for this to be the star, okay. is the one day special ink in there. It makes a match, that. And there. Lovely. There fabulous. we have. Like that, I like that a lot. Very effective, beautiful. Um, now if you want to take advantage of our one day special course, that is a beautiful set, um, absolutely gorgeous design. Um, and of course, you can see there, Paula showing you a different version, just changing those colours out. Yeah, makes it, it, it does make a difference. It doesn't really until you put it together. Yeah. So here I use uh, the, the lighter blue as well, gold, but it's, this one is satin. And then I just use a sentiment on the side, and then I use crystals. And then also, it, when it opens, you have got, and it does. Emboss oh, yes. uh, the the and also you that means that you can color through it. This one I embossed it a little bit more to add okay. more detail in there. Wonderful, there you go. And of course, both of those cards created with some of the elements from your one day special. You've got 32 dies in total, so there's a lot for you to play with. 070120. If you wanted to go for your one day special, two flexi buys, 24 pounds and 99 pence. You're getting all of these three packs of dies totaling 32 dies in total so of course you've got that fabulous belly band that we saw Lisa using a few moments ago to create those gorgeous poinsettias you've also got um, that hexagon base that Paula's just used and of course she used that alongside that intricate hexagon as you can see there to build up and of course you've got all those hexagons to do your mats and layers as well as a little border there but that border it could be a circle to make a snowflake wreath or maybe just putting a couple together it's up to you but of course with all of those designs just zero a seven zero one Two zero is the item number. Two flexi buys are twenty four ninety nine. If you're wanting those, um, something else that lots of you are adding into your baskets are these. Um, we've got a lovely set here of elongated hexagons, very similar in design to the one day special, but kind of stretched out a little. 
gives you a really nice design. Um, creating a 557 card on this occasion. So if that's the style that you like to craft with, then this is the set for you. 22 dies in total. So yeah, take advantage of those while you have that opportunity. Um, 471081 is that item number. Again, a saving on that one. And again, pop that into your um, basket alongside your one day special. You can spread the cost and you can do exactly the same with this. You've got those lovely sets there, if you can see, of your sentiments there. Do like that, some nice scripted ones and then those very contemporary ones, as you can see there as well. And then, of course, you've got those zigzag mats and layers. And again, even more fabulous snowflakes to work with. 528159 if you want in those $24.99. And you hear that little yes of agreement there from her pilot. She's ready to go ahead with the next demonstration. <laughs> Do check out on the website, though, because um, Paula's created her first ever stencils as well. And they work beautifully alongside the One Day Special. Right. Um, so shall we do a small card, the yeah, one with the sentiments? So what do you do? You want to say go traditional Merry Christmas? Or yeah, yeah, let's do that. Right. So a couple of things, especially for you, Peter, if you are watching, uh, because he's a fan of my words. Um, well, I hope he <laughs> like. <laughs> he was. He really likes them, and he, he makes w beautiful cards as well with them. Um, as you can see, these ones are a little bit shorter than the. So they are five inches, in, and they have got the double stage <laughs> outer one, but it's the same font. So so they are a little bit smaller, but you can still make some match them for this technique as well. So what you are going to do is, what I'm going to do is Merry Christmas. So I'm going to start with Christmas first, and then I'm going to position it in the bottom of my card. So I'm going to kind of central it like so. And then I'm going to take low tech tape, and then just run it across the machine. Now you can do two at a time, which probably for design purposes is the best because then it's going to give you a, a better uh, positioning. But then of course, yes, if you put two dice at the same time, you, I strongly recommend that you use strong um, low tech tape that secures it in okay. place because otherwise if they run into it. But this is what the dice will cut into the car, creating that perfect, you know, Christmas word in here, Look at that. floating that. in there, Christmas. So now I'm going to take Mary. The reason why I wanted to do these dice was because I wanted to have, um, you know, this modern font uh, dice. And of course, because they are not scraped, they are uh, kind of what is called sans, uh, sans serif letters, so you stand very throat. So you cannot, they don't link together, and therefore you have to have them either die cut them individually and then put them all one one in, in one at a time, okay. or you can then. And then I thought, well, actually, I want them to be able to cut all in one pass. So hence, um, here we have. Have I cut it all? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, sorry. I kind of <laughs> it felt really smooth, and I kind of thought, well, how have I gone through? <laughs> so there, I have got the Merry Christmas. Look at that. So now what I you can do is trim that bait in here if you want it, or leave it as it is. Nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. Now, this is the North Light panel that I have die cut. And you can see that I die cut it out of paper, mm -hmm. uh, well actually out of card, and then I'm just going to put it at an angle in here using okay. that center. I'm going to go in with a um, black ink pad and a makeup soft brush and then start it in and I tape it to the That's end really so that is very really dense. Yeah, if you tape it, uh, this is a masking tape, a strong masking tape, so you can then have Stop a very very yeah. playing out, yeah. And then that kind of that oh kind wow. of gives you. Now if I wanted to just do a bit of now the reason you might wonder is like, well if you use die cuts as stencils, why do you have a stencils? And the reason is that with this I couldn't go in with glitter paste because okay. obviously it's paper. Yes. I couldn't go with gesso or acrylic mm -hmm. paint because it's paper and it will ruin it. Hence, you need to have a stencils if you wanted to do a little bit of more mixed media. So I have got that in here. Lovely. Now I'm going to go in with, uh, let me put those bags, those eyes in here. With the one day special, I'm going to go in and cut some of the snowflakes here that I have got from the band 
and the little one from the border. Now, because I'm using three dies and this, I'm, I'm really careful and I do this at home as well. Um, I just tape them to each other and to the card so they m to make sure that they That's don't overlap like together. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of boring. Also, another top tip for die cutting, and this is not because I need to do it, but because it's good to get into the habit. If you if you see it, and sometimes you know, we see, is you always get no matter what machine you are talking. I have you work with a lot of different die cutting machines. Always you will have more pressure at either end. Therefore, put them the dies like so, rather than horizontal like this. Because even the machines like this one, or the you know there is a lot of them that they don't have hot spots. It's not about that. It's just the nature of physics okay. of the pressure that you are putting, and therefore by putting them. On along the edge is going to be always a better one. And this hour covered geography, we covered history, we've also done a bit of science. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And if you want, I can teach you Spanish as well. It sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, okay, so I just poke in it. And uh, anyway, Spanish is very easy language. So you can see how I'm l you can layer them together. You can then layer like this, and then layer like that, and foam pads as well. And then I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh, now. Okay. So what we are gonna do is I'm gonna take my foam pads and and put it. Now you can see that it has got, and I have gone like against my own personal rule of having um, not. Uh, like always, I tend to f have flowers that they don't have, that they don't have hollow centers. Okay. Uh, but because I have gone against it, because I wanted to have that, so you could thread ribbon, you could make it different ways. You can just put perfectly a pearl in the center point, or something yeah. like this, or you can then layer it up with a circle that is also included oh, in the cake okay. to put it on to underneath it. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave it, and then I'm going to just put a pearl in there. And okay, and I just put so much glue. Too much glue, Paula, too much glue. <laughs> okay, and then just gonna put it in here. Oh, and then nice. what I'm gonna do is for what we want to say, Merry or Christmas in black? Hmm, hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna put it in black. Okay. You can see. Looking just as Paula's cutting that. We've been busy as well for the seconds that all picked up one of those eyes from that particular set as well. Um, this one featuring more of those sentiments that Paula is um, cutting. So you can see there you've got your Merry Christmas, you've got your Noel, Peace, Joy, all featuring there, and your scripted um, sentiments at the bottom there. And they do actually come with a little drop shadow there. You've got 18 dies in total in that particular pack. 24 being made up with the six that you've got from the second pack with your mats and layers, as you can see that little zigzag. And you've got a little tiny kind of pierced detail around that square centre there and of course as you can see it there as well and then of course you've got those two innies and outies dies creating those wonderful snowflake effects. 10% of the stock of these two have gone and again 24.99 makes them very affordable and pop them in with your one day special it's just an extra £12.50. Right so we can see here that uh, I have die cut I mean I have this like to live dangerously life on air so I have die cut it two pieces of card 250 GSM and it has cut it both perfectly but you can see how on the gold how it has got that double stage yes. e effect in there so what you can do then is with the black and you see how you can put it in there and then like that or so we put the merry oh decisions i'm so bad at this <laughs> you know i'm gonna be sensible and i'm gonna use the black and i'm gonna explain you why in a second and i'm gonna use the black onto the card like this. And the reason being is because uh, glitter card is a pain to c attach to using the, 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 the glitter side. So okay. by using it, attaching it to there, it's oh, a little bit easier. The card, right. Yes. Ah, good tip. Whether this, I'm gonna just go in here, and not saying that Mary card is not difficult to attach, but it's slightly easier. So I'm just gonna go in here and then I just add a little bit of glue in the back of it. And then I'm gonna, there is quite a lot in there, so I'm just uh, spreading out with the, my finger. And here. And then I have got the, the, and the, 
and then you can see it. And then you think, it, well, that doesn't look very good. Well, you take it over and, and then just cut the excess off by doing the, this. I have put it at an angle. Oh, no, it's pretty straight. Uh, I have to think about wonky angles sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then just, yeah. Oh, look at that. And then maybe some baker's line in the top. That's a nice idea. And then we have got a contemporary, uh, that was a little bit heavy handed. <laughs> what did that? A uh, little bit of a contemporary Christmas card that sometimes are just, just what you need. It is you indeed. But think about doing it maybe in more Christmassy colours, maybe if you well, want to. You could change it to traditional reds and greens or um, your blues yeah. that we saw earlier on, the silver maybe. And then really you have pretty. got that floating one, that one isn't floating, and then the you know, and the the one day special with the snowflakes in there. Beautiful. Thank you, Pam. Thanks for sharing with that. Now of course mentioned Lisa earlier on sending in those photos uh, featuring the poinsettia that she'd made with those um, dyes. Well have a look at these. She's been a busy lady. Created some beautiful designs and again really pretty really pretty designs that you can create time and time again and as we've mentioned when you're working some of these snipping away little elements of there you've got kind of the core piece being a flower and then of course those elongated um, elements turn it into a snowflake but of course you will play around with these and you'll go um, so much further with them love this one as well Lisa's created a lovely wreath using that it's almost like a, um, a border with this one but imagine creating that as a wavy line twisting and turning topping and tailing them or uh, maybe putting them together as we saw on the boards just a couple of them together poinsettia though this one was created using the belly band now the belly band is actually a snowflake but when you put it together like the way that lisa has it's a very traditional look so i think um, paula has really hit the nail on the head with this one day special because whether you're wanting a contemporary look to your christmas projects or something more traditional you can create all of them with these and again look at this the rainbow of colors with this one with those lovely sentiments that we just saw a few moments ago now of course if you're wanting those sentiments they are aren't part of your one day special but they are in that other bundle that we've been chatting about but what about home decor what about bringing in some of those little led lights you may have tucked away you could create create beautiful wreaths like this absolutely gorgeous Lisa, you've created some beautiful pieces there. Thank you for sharing those photos with us. And you can take inspiration from Lisa's designs by using your one day special. Um, and with this deal, you have got the brand new release from our lovely Paula. It's the first time she has ever created Christmas dyes. And of course, White Rosa is Paula's derma range, her design. And we've only seen one release prior to this one. Second release, and what a corker. You've got that snowflake theme. And of course, snowflake's very close to our Paula's heart because she was born Born on Christmas Day and it all started with that snowflake idea she wanted to create something taking that design and taking it so much further then she wanted to create that hexagon design where you've got the hexagon sitting on its corner or its point um, a bit part of a folded card with mats and layers lots of elements in this die set that we're looking at here and you are going to be able to use that and as of course we saw that with the first demo from Paula earlier on creating that base card because of course you've got the die in there that will allow you to cut that outer edge you could just leave it simply like that if you wanted to or maybe um, cut out those beautiful delicate areas as Paula did add in that gorgeous snowflake add in all those four corners are individual dies creating a card really really quickly or maybe you're wanting to take elements and create almost like a stencil effect there again creating your card with all those elements and again you've got so many choices adding in little elements because of course the additional dies work so well with these creating some really really pretty cards absolutely gorgeous designs and as you can see with this one again here gorgeous rainbow of colors featuring if you're wanting your one day special lots of you taking advantage lots of you adding in those sentiments as well and at um, 24 pounds and 99 pence being your first flexi buy it means that any of those additional items that you're wanting to add into your basket you can spread over two payments as well it's the first hour that we've had a look at our one day special already approaching 20 percent of a very large day stock has gone zero seven zero one two zero that is the item number take advantage of it while you have the opportunity we've got some um, around nine minutes left on the show so very quickly i'm going to tell you about this next bundle because we've got the elongated hexagon of course power has created almost a square card using the one day special with that hexagon but with this very shaky elongated hexagon <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hurricane Paula has come in and she's shaking the studio, as you can see there, with her vigorous die cutting. Um, and of course, these two dies coming to you, these dies, that's 20 dies within that one set with your elongated um, hexagon. Again, similar idea, similar concept to the one that we saw with the one day special. And then, of course, you've got that fabulous overlay. The um, intricate detail that you can see from that die set works beautifully alongside the second die. The second die is slightly thicker with regards to those lines, but that means you can mat and layer, in, um, layer them and get some really effective results. And of course, those little dots that you see, um, see there will work beautifully with those um, frames that we saw with that zigzag edge to them as well. 471081, and I think you'll agree that with these very geometric designs, but doesn't look like Christmas at all. Um, put them together, and when we say not Christmas at all, I mean this one here, of course you've got the sentiment of joy, um, obviously, because of a Christmas theme card, but you could turn this into a birthday card, couldn't you? Using one of those other sentiments that Paola has brought to us previously. And of course, with those different hexagons creating those different stars, you can see. This one here will show you just how you can take that panel, that front panel cut out, and then the overlay um, sitting on top to give you that different dimension. It sits neatly in between those lines. The actual measurements that have gone into creating these designs, incredible. And again, you could be creating something like Paola has done here with this gorgeous art journal. It's just something a little bit different. And of course, you can add as many panels to this, as many pages as you like. And of course, it could be one of those journals that just keeps on growing the more designs that you come up with. Stencils that you can see there, they're all on the website. Check out on there and you'll find them all because we'll be covering them a little later too. 471081 being your item number for your elongated um, hexagon there. But those sentiments that we've been touching on, let me show you those quickly as I head back to see our lovely Paula. Beautiful set because of course you've got that um, square panel there with your zigzag edge that we saw a few moments ago. Um, you've got your mats and layers with that, you've got more snowflakes and of course you've got those wonderful sentiments. $24.99 again at £12.50 if you want to add them into your flexi basket um, and you can spread that cost over two payments uh, 528 or 159 stencils as well this is the first time we've had stencils from paula and uh, oh no so i do apologize it's the words it's the words that we're talking about not the stencils oh no we are talking about the stencils <laughs> <laughs> they're coming, they're coming. There you go. They were worth waiting for, weren't they? Beautiful designs. Um, two stencils there, and of course, you've got that third die. But again, it is a beautiful set there, as you can see. £21.97 for all of those. Now, we've probably got, what, about six, seven okay, minutes? Okay, I'll try to do as much as I can here. Uh, just one, one question, one thing that I um, wanted to mention is that out of all the dies that are in the one uh, in, uh, throughout the show, there's only one that you will need a name for the like, cutting machine that's a really good point oh, to you make, know, yeah. obviously um, th for certain techniques you will need an a, a, a for machine but the hexagon the one day special that actually is I believe I mean I didn't so it's just under five inches even in accounting for that extra width so you have got it will go through a standard big shot uh, or cuttle back or whatever um, you will need the the, the longer plates though okay. but, but that's the the only one out of every single die that won't go through is this one which is the elongated card a hexagon card because it's five by seven and you have to put it like open like this and okay. therefore you have got that seven inches and a bit to account for the metal um, plate so that's the only one that you need a need for like a machine now I just running it through uh, with watercolor card. Now watercolor card is um, 300 GSM. This one that I'm using, and it has got texture. But um, I have die cut it without a problem. It has a score in the middle, in the middle where I needed to go, and you can see that I have got Beautiful. my base card that then can stand up like this perfectly. Okay, Wonderful. so if you want to use it, just pattern paper or stamping, there you go. So I have got, this is what you saw me like die cutting, I have got three of them. And then in this one, what I have done is I have cut into the card. So I have got all that beautiful detail. Now, because you have to put it like this, you have a lot of die cutting. So you may have to put it a couple of times or okay. even sometimes, depending on your die cutting machine, a little shim in the middle. But okay. that's, you know, that depends on the die cutting machine and some of them have got more pressure than others as you know so then I just kind of put it out also it does help if you don't put die cutting when it, you have <laughs> got other bits because that doesn't help the 
uh, the pressure. You want it to have like, as clean a die as possible. Now you've been quite rough with regards to that, and none of those little spokes are, um, are, are breaking. They're really sturdy. It is. They, they are. It's just kind of it's the magical of the north lights. You know, <laughs> that's how. I, I, I don't know why I call it north lights because, to be honest, it doesn't necessarily go into. But you can see. But I just like that idea. Look at that yeah. for a wedding, a wedding yeah, invitation. Nice, yeah. Look at that pattern in there. I, I had done one uh, with vellum as well, and it was just to, uh, so you can keep it like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it over here, this one. And then what I'm going to be using it is as a, as a stencil. Oh, okay. So going in with a soft makeup brush. Uh, you can see how it colors the background, but also I'm coloring in the actual dye. And then I'm, I'm going with oxides. And the reason why you want to use oxides above traditional distress or any dye-based uh, inks is because um, dye tend to be a little bit wetter. Okay. And therefore, when you have got a, a pattern like this one, which is quite intricate, if you have, uh, if you are, you will have, if you are using dye base or, or kind of traditional distress, sometimes it's too wet and it kind of makes the fibers a little bit, um, we, it weakens them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whether well, the distress oxides are a little bit more chalky, less water content, okay. if you may so listen. So there, oh, I have got that pattern that. in here. That's but pretty. also when I put it in here, look at nice. that sort of kind of. So what I'm going to do then is you can then go in here, that one. Take your uh, tremor or scoring board. You're creating a little bit of a mess, but that's to you be expected. That no, that it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Don't worry. So about I would say half an inch, a score it down, down a quarter of an inch in there. And this is what I do to create those art journals. Every time it's a little bit different. Every time it's a slightly, you know, you create those. Uh, did I do it the right way? I think. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't. I think I did actually. <laughs> but it, it's a slightly different, every time it's going to be different. Because it's, it's like, see how you can do create a like this, and then the other one I could do score it down there, yes, and yeah. then you have got that bit. So now, for instance, if I wanted the corners in here, I could go in with one of the, the stencils. And then that you, I have given you some dots in there, so then you can go in not just the words, so you can just use bits and pieces, so you can nice. have that effect in there. And the stencils are really, really exciting because it's just something a little bit di di different. It is, Can it you is. see there yeah. how they are coming in there? And, now I'm gonna and then I'm going to go in maybe this corner here, and or that corner there, so it's a little bit. But there's nothing particularly Christmassy about what you're doing here. No, you're not no, no, using no, no, the no. sentiment part of that stencil. So of course this could just be an art journal that you're adding and to. And also, I, I, when I designed even the words, if you look at it, I just uh, mask Christmas and Merry, and then you have got shine bright, belief, love, yes. uh, peace, joy, happy, and numbers. So, so that doesn't even if it's really Christmas. That's a good point. Yes. I love that idea. And of course, that particular journal, um, or this one that I've got here, it started life in a very similar way. And you just keep adding to it, and we'll see more from the One Day Special, obviously at 8 o'clock with Paula and Charlie. Paula, thank, thank you, you so much for your inspiration. Thank you. Congratulations. It's more in success. Thank Everybody's you. loving it. Now, I will see you a little bit later on. Hopefully, Paula will be joining.